Good morning everyone and welcome on a new midweek analysis video. This is Salah speaking and before we start the analysis, I really wanted to share with you what's going on so far in the premium forex signals group on Telegram. And as we can see, most of the signals have went in the right direction and so far we have made approximately 300 pips of profits. Please look at that. Check out these results and you can notice that most of them are in green and even the losses are just really small, just like 10 pips only. And check these uh, results again. Look at that. I'm just scrolling. If you join the premium group, this is what you will find in the group itself. Look at all these signals. Thankfully, they have ended in a very good profit. Uh, even the pound cat has reached 100 pips of profit as well. Uh, Euro GPY closed in only 22 pips of loss only. Meanwhile, uh, the, the USD CAD has immediately recovered any losses happened from the Euro GPY. And as we can see, these are the signals right front of you. Definitely, Monday and Tuesday were actually a great days. Um, I think we are doing really, really very well, especially with the market is going crazy sometimes. But still, thankfully, with our experience and ability of uh, analyzing the market, we have actually been able to send one of the best uh, forex signals for everyone so of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there good morning everyone and welcome on a new midweek analysis video this is salah speaking and before we start the analysis i really wanted to share with you what's going on so far in the premium forex signals group on telegram and as we can see most of the signals have went in the right direction and so far we have made approximately 300 pips of profits please look at that check out these results and you can notice that most of them are in green and even the losses are just really small just like 10 pips only and check these uh, results again. Look at that. I'm just scrolling. If you join the premium group, this is what you will find in the group itself. Look at all these signals. Thankfully, they have ended in a very good profit. Uh, even the pound cat has reached 100 pips of profit as well. Uh, Euro GPY closed in only 22 pips of loss only. Meanwhile, uh, the, the USD CAD has immediately recovered any losses happened from the Euro GPY. And as we can see, these are the signals right front of you. Definitely, Monday and Tuesday were actually a great days. Um, I think we are doing really, really very well, especially with the market is going crazy sometimes. But still, thankfully, with our experience and ability of uh, analyzing the market, we have actually been able to send one of the best uh, forex signals for everyone so of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there and let's begin as usual with the euro usd actually there is not much to be said about this pair the pair seems like it's gonna be continue the fall and the sell signal can still be valid from the current price. However, we can expect from the EURUSD to make a pullback upon the pressure from the support at 1.13214 uh, 1, 1 and actually the pair might rise again to another 14 pips before it's gonna continue the fall. Let me just show you something on the daily chart. On the daily chart, currently we're having this first of all the market has created here a pin bar on Monday and then Tuesday the market has closed at this candle. This candle actually telling us that the market has been facing a strong pressure from the sellers or the resistance right here at the level of 1.1343. Look at that. The market has always been facing that level of the resistance. Even when the market, let me just move this one here. Even when the market has actually made what seemed like a bullish breakout from that level of a previous resistance, the market right now went immediately below that level of a resistance again. Now, these two candles, the last two candles right here of Monday and Tuesday tells us that the, the, the buyers have been trying so hard to push the market to rise again above that level of the resistance. However, the sellers or the bears have won the battle in my opinion and most likely the Euro USD is going to continue the fall and most likely it will reach the take profit level by today or tomorrow morning in my opinion. That being said, uh, please hold your positions for the sell order for the pound for, uh, for the euro USD. It seems like the pair is going in the right direction. Again, expect from the pair to make one more attempt 
to break out from that level of a resistance again i'm telling you upon that pressure from that support most likely the pair is going to make a pullback and we can start shorting the, uh, the pair again from the same level let's now take a look at the pound usd Pound USD is very similar to the Euro USD. I believe the pair uh, right now is going in the right direction, but eventually the pair will make a final pullback and eventually it's going to make, um, or sorry, it's going to ri rise again for another 31 pips and it's going to be good to be short again exactly from the same level where we have started shorting the pair. But just to be accurate, let me, ju let me just show you where we can expect from the Pound USD to start the reversal. I think right here, um, we can expect from the pound USD to fall again to hit the level of the support at 1.35801 so it will fall to another uh, 9 pips before it's going to make another final pullback for about 40 pips before it's going to be again good to be short so those who have entered this uh, signal and currently running in profit prepare for a potential uh, loss if you want in my, adv uh, my advice actually is to close your trade immediately and just wait for another opportunity to short the pound USD again. Uh, but I have to, rewind, to remind you uh, that the pair seems like it's facing a very strong resistance at 1.36209. The many attempts, I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, even six. Um, the more the attempts, the more the, 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 the strength or the strong is the level, meaning if the pair has made so many attempts right here, it has a chance to, to make a final break out of that resistance. So please be careful and just uh, short again the pound USD only if we see any kind of price action indicates a bearish reversal. Uh, price, action, uh, price action such as a pin bar maybe or a reverse hammer or a hammer itself or anything that can indicate a weakness in the level. So please be sure that you are not going to short the pound USD immediately. For example, this signal right here, this candle right here, it was a good signal to start shorting the pound USD. The appearance of the false breakout right like this right here, it's also a good signal indicates that we can start shorting the pound USD immediately. Uh, but from here, this price action right here, there was nothing at all indicates that it's a good entry for sh uh, shorting the pound USD. Why? Because there was no price action right here indicates a bearish reversal. Uh, this strong bearish candle, engulfing bearish candle, it's actually a sign that we can start shorting the market. Uh, this candle right here also, it's a good sign uh, or a good price action indicates that we can start shorting the pound USD. We just want something similar th uh, like that, similar to that, I mean, uh, before we can start shorting the pair. I think that's everything for the pound USD, nothing much to be said. Let's now move to the next pair. Let's now move to the AUD USD. So regarding AUD USD, it seems like the sell signal itself uh, has been given on the wrong level. Let me just show you some. I'm deleting the old signal. So we can start working on a fresh fresh chart. So most likely right now the AUDUSD is actually climbing its way on this strong support trend line level. But however, if we check the daily chart, the daily chart is actually facing a major resistance trend line. It's actually much stronger than that uh, mini support trend line level. Most likely the AUDUSD is going to continue the fall at the, the retest of that resistance trend line so therefore i'm just making sure that the line is accurate and yes i think it's accurate right now this is the right way to draw the resistance trend line so we can actually expect from the AUD USD to rise again all the way till it reaches the resistance exactly right here exactly right here at 0 0.72711 uh, that's going to be the maximum where the pair actually might continue the rise to because the pair has been facing a strong uh, uh, resistance zone in that area and it was also a strong support as well. Keep in mind, I'm on the daily chart. So therefore, after confirming the direction on the daily chart and being sure that this is going to be a best level to start shorting the, pound USD, the, the AUD USD, let's now move to the smaller time frame to find exactly where we can start shorting the pair. Now, by moving to the 4-hour time frame, all we need to do is identifying the strongest resistance levels before we can start this uh, before we decide to start shorting the pair exactly right here if we check carefully my friends look, look at the chart 
So this was out here a very strong resistance level and it has been also a strong resistance level here as well. It was a strong key resistance level. Then we had right here a false breakout. This was a false breakout and even right here the market has made what seems like a, 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 a fake breakout from that level but eventually the market has refused to fall uh, or to break out from that level as well. By checking the history we can see how the market has been reacting to that level of the resistance every single time it has reached the level of 0 0.72620. By seeing this ch the history we can identify that most likely it's going to be actually a better idea to short the AUDUSD exactly right here as 0 0.72620. Now, let's go again back to the daily chart to identify the target as well. Now, by looking at the daily chart, we want to exit our trade at the nearest support or resistance to our entry. And it seems to me like this one this is the support this is the strong key support level and here as well was a strong key support level which means this is going to be the exit of our entry meaning this is going to be the take profit level which is going to be about 85 pips only meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging just a little bit above that peak of, resist of the resistance at 0 0.7333 which means the safe zone is ranging for about 54 pips meanwhile the target is about 87 pips i know it's not really practical but however this is what is the setup providing to us and we have to stick to it so therefore this is going to be our take profit level 0 0.717 uh, 0 0.71761 that's everything for the AUDUSD. let's now move to the next pair let's go to the usd cat for the usd cat it's almost almost the same as well i mean I want to tell you something guys there was a reason to delay this uh, midweek analysis video i actually was waiting to see any changes in the market sadly there is nothing much happened and everything is still the same for the for the usd cast signal it's just it's still the same exactly and we just have to wait for the pair um to to fall again to our entry again for 13 pips but i think the pair is going to continue the rise before that let me just go to the 30 minute time frame let me tell you something on the 30 minute time frame if you want to start buying the usd cad again i believe this level exactly right here uh that support this uh, key support level right here on uh, 1.27393 and also it was a previous resistance this was let me just zoom in so you can see it this is my friend a bullish breakout candle and this uh, wick right here is the nearest one to that bullish breakout candle that's why I believe that the USD CAD has a potential to fall down all the way reaching that level of a previous resistance and also that support level most likely is going to keep its position again as a support. So most likely it's going to reverse exactly on that level. So if anyone willing to start uh, buying the USD CAD again, I think buying it after it falls to another 12 pips only is going to be a good idea. So therefore buy again if you want to at 1.27393. So that's everything for the USD CAD. Ah, by the way, for the safe zone, it's uh, still the same and the target is also still the same. Just make sure you are entering the signal under your own responsibility and be careful and wise about your trade. <coughs> that's everything for the USD CAD. <coughs> Sorry. Let's now move to the next pair. Let's go now go to the USD GPY, which uh, is going to be changed right now. So let me just delete the old signal. And let me tell you that we can close the USDGPY sell order immediately because the current price action, it tells us that most likely the USDGPY is going to continue the rise and therefore we have to consider buying the pair. We can see here two pin bars has appeared on the lowest level of, that bottom, of the bottom of that support. And currently we have seen right here a strong bullish breakout candle and again we had just a small uh, red candle indicates that there was some attempt from the sellers to push the market to go down but eventually the buyers have pushed the market again and seems like tuesday or uh, this is for our time frame let's go to the daily chart yes exactly it seems like the market is now facing a strong major uh, bullish movement if we draw here a support trend line just like that it's very clear to me that the USDGPY is climbing its way toward the resistance at 116 
point one fifty. Uh, everyone thought that this was actually a, d a double top pattern, and many traders actually were uh, planning to start shorting the USDJPY. I am one of them, by the way. However, uh, the current price action tells us that most likely the USDJPY is going the opposite way and most likely is going to continue the rise. If we draw here, uh, draw here a resistance trend line just like that, we can see how the market has been respecting that resistance trend line and eventually has made the bullish breakout from that level of a resistance trend line. And again, the retest has already happened. Let's just move to the smaller time frame to see that. Let's go to the 30 minute time frame. Now it's more clear, right? Now we are having here the resistance trend line and we have right here the bullish breakout and the retest has already occurred. Which means that most likely the USDJPY is going to continue the rise from that point. Now using the same trend line which I have already drawn right here, let me just drag it all the way just like that. Perfect. Perfect. So we can see this is the support trend line and it has been respecting the level. Of course, the first thing we can notice is the market did not respect that level as a resistance trend line. It has immediately made the break, the breakout from that level and went all the way and kept the, the position again. So this support trend line has kept its position again as a support trend line. So that being said, we can expect from the pair, now moving to the 30 minute time frame, we can expect from the USD JPY to fall again for about 10 pips and that support here exactly most likely the support right here is going to be respected again and is going to keep its position again as a support. Therefore, this is exactly where we will start buying the USD GPY. So buy the pair at 114.96967. And for the target, let's now back, uh, back to the four hour time frame. So if the market has made the breakout from here, so most likely it's going to continue the rise till it reaches the resistance right here exactly at 115.711, which means we can expect to make a 73 pips profit from this signal. Therefore, take profit level 115.711. And for the safe zone, the safe zone should be ranging just till the lowest level of the support exactly right here, just like that. We don't really need uh, higher than that, or sorry, lower than that, since we are actually relying on that support trend line right here and on the movement of the bullish breakout candle. Therefore, the safe zone is ranging for just 34 pips only. So that's everything for the USD GPY. Let's now move to the next pair. Let's now check the USD CHF. For the USD CHF, the signal is still valid. Let me just show you something on the daily chart right here. We are seeing that the market is actually facing the support. Let me just delete that or just move that. I mean, so we can see that this level of a support has only been visited from the market or uh, tested only one time. Now, most likely this was a false breakout from that level of a support at 0 0.91820 which means that most likely the UCCHF will bounce again from the exact level of the sell level, which I have mentioned last Sunday, and is going to go all the way and revisit the real level of the support right here. So all we need to do right now is just change the target. This is actually more correct. So this was the real level of the support, and this was a false breakout, and here is the, re the, real, the, the real level of the support as well which means, according to my strategy, that most likely the market will reverse exactly from where we have mentioned to start shorting and the market will revisit again the same level of the real support. That's usually the market's behavior when it creates these fake breakouts. So therefore, uh, nothing has been changed for the UCCHF. We can aim about 60 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone will be ranging for about 37 pips. So actually nothing has been changed for the UCCHF. Everything still the same. Well, except of course for the take profit level. So let's now move to the gold. Now regarding the gold, we have to discuss about the gold. Now we have to agree first that the gold is highly impacted by the potential war between Russia and Ukraine, as we have mentioned many times. Currently, uh, the, 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 Russian, uh, the Russian army has started to make some actions uh, on the border of Ukraine, but in the end, 
threats are just threats. There has no action uh, been taken yet. So we have to pay attention for what's going on there in that part of the world. It's really impacting the gold prices. But in my opinion, from my point of view, the gold most likely is going to continue the fall. I don't think that the gold will continue the rise right now after seeing this, this price action and reversing from the level of 1907.48. Eventually the gold will continue the fall till 1879 and after that we can see what we can uh, we, we will see what we can do uh, with the gold but until then we are not going to place any buy orders at all. I think if I'm not mistaken if we check the the weekly chart the gold has reversed on the resistance level at 1,900 and it actually has a potential to fall all the way back to 1,785. Yes, it's a possibility. It can happen. I mean, so far there has no, there was no action has been taken in the, in the Ukrainian Russian war, but we have to keep in our mind that if there was any action has been taken after releasing this video, then everything is going to be changed we have to close our sell orders and we have to consider what will happen next in the uh, gold upon the news from russia and ukraine but until then please guys um, be extra careful when you are trading with the gold even me myself i'm trading the gold now uh, scalping it only with a very small lot size just, such as uh, 0 0.30 or 0 0.40 i mean i'm just being so much careful trading the gold don't place any higher uh, lots on trading the gold. Make sure that every trade you are entering for selling the gold, uh, you have prepared for any potential losses. But for those who are willing to sell the gold again, if you are planning to sell the gold again, let me just tell you, actually, I wanted to release this uh, earlier than that. I was going to say shorting it at the level of 1,900 exactly is going to be a good idea. However, I want to stick to this uh, pattern and most likely the the pound is sorry the gold is gonna rise again upon the pressure from the support at 1896 most likely is gonna continue the rise and i believe if i'm not mistaken the level of uh, 1900 is very strong one and i think it's gonna be a good idea to start shorting the gold again uh, from that level but however again please be careful and just keep in mind that the gold is highly impacted by the news uh, of the war and we just mean we have to be sure about how we are entering uh, the sell order for the gold so that's it from me i mean there is nothing left to be said uh, we have to be careful and that's it so i hope that was informative to you and uh, i would like to thank you for watching